Cooper here at CES 2025, and we're in Tim Vaughan. Had a battery with Octera. We're going to have a look around the outside, the inside of this amazing electric vehicle. Tim, tell us a bit about yourself and about the vehicle itself. Oh, thank you, Derek. I I joined Aptera a year ago after spending about 10 years with one of Chris's other companies, uh, Flux Power, who's oh. they, they make batteries for industrial equipment. And um, yeah, I joined as responsible for the battery system. Mm -hmm. And in that time, I'm happy to see that we've gotten as far as we have with the production intent vehicles. So what you're looking at here is a vehicle that's built on a, um, a chassis that is um, approximately in produ production intent. It's, it's, it's machined rather than cast. Okay, the, 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 the cast one is over there. Yeah. yeah, if we want to take a look at the cast one, the exploded view is probably better for details. Uh, I'll speak through here. Right, so for uh, uh, what we're looking at here is the uh, the carbon fi uh, carbon fiber composite body with the the fiberglass um, the, the gray material here is fiberglass the black you can see is carbon fiber okay and this is molded on production tooling in Italy by a company called CPC thanks to the, the trolley or the dolly that it's on with yes the yeah they've branded that to, to show who's who's involved <laughs> yep and Costamp has provided us the the cast aluminum chassis. So these these are basically what it would look like in in full production. Uh, so likewise with the suspension. Carbon fiber, fiberglass, and then the aluminium. Yes. Very good. Yep. And it's an exploded view, as you say. Yeah. So the the body panels come out of the mold uh, already prepared. There's no sanding or surface finish required, other than removing some minor flashing okay. from the the mold process. And then it's um, bonded to this frame. That's okay. obviously not bonded to this frame, just so that you can see the frame. The different think, elements. Uh, yep. It's got a very unique teardrop shape. Aerodynamics is of huge importance. It's critical. Yeah. So, so this vehicle is um, it, it'll it'll travel with approximately one one hundred watts per watt hours per mile, which is maybe a third of what most electric vehicles wow. uh, require. Um, for example, the vehicle I drive takes about 300 watt hours per mile. Okay. Um, so at 100 watt hours per mile is profoundly more efficient. And for my metric audience back in Europe, I'm going to put a conversion on the screen so we don't have to. Ah, uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Yes, I, I. I'm not going to put Tim on the spot here. Either. I I think in metric when it comes to dimensions of uh, sh small distances, yes. uh, in inches and millimeters and centimeters, I'm familiar with. But yeah, it's it's strange. We've got we've got watt hours, which is an SI unit, and uh -huh. we're referring it to with, yeah. with respect to the miles. That can be a little confusing. Can go back over to the actual vehicle itself. So it's great sure. to see the different. And, I'm not saying it's simple, but it's it is it is simple. Yeah, yeah. yeah there are very few body parts um, compared to a traditional build uh, where where you would have weldments of 10, 20 plus pieces to yes. to get the similar functionality. This is far fewer body parts, so it really is much simpler. Right, but also the weak points are reduced as well because it's all single. Yeah, my larger panels. Yes, exactly. So on the ground, we've got some stats. I'll focus in on them here. So we've got. If it's in a sunny enough environment, at eleven hundred miles. Again, I'll convert that uh, to kilometers. eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. Yeah. So, so on a on a sunny day like today, we expect yeah. roughly forty miles of solar range. Perfect. Um, for, so, the other day when we were giving people test drives around for the majority of the day, the the battery actually increased its state of charge over the course of the day. Yeah. So, so it works. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So. Any reason to excuse? Yes, fundamentally, it's for efficiency. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, the aerodynamic shape of it is is critical to success in terms of the the range and the the solar power being able to contribute a meaningful amount of range to the vehicle. Amazing. So, to go with four wheels would introduce far more drag, and the that's the, yeah. yeah. The the motivation here is pure and simple. Um, to make a, an efficient sun-powered vehicle. And there is an element of, what's the size of the battery inside there? You're, that's your... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, head of battery. 40, 42 kilowatt hours. Nice. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Um, and the number of its panels on the bonnet, yep. roof, and do you call it a 
trunk or tail or what would you call that at the back? A, a boot, perhaps, for your okay. audience. <laughs> Thank you, too. Uh, and the of it. Yes, and also the, the dashboard as well. Oh, intern? Oh! Yeah. 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 So inside. What yep. Oh, I didn't notice that yesterday. Yep. Yeah. So, so the the production solar panels will be made of glass. This this front one is is made out of glass yeah. rather than polycarbonate. Uh, the materials didn't arrive in time for the the two others, so those were made out of polycarbonate. But it the, will be glass in production. It will be glass in production. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, anything else on the external? We might go around the back and have a look at the sure. Trunk. Large cubic volume there. Yes, there is considerable space. I think we have one of those stats in there. Um, 32 cubic feet. So, yep, there you go. Figure that out in, in meters. <laughs> I put it on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, exactly. We can figure it out in post. Yeah, so in, in the back here, we've got the, the charge port behind the license plate. Okay. Yeah. Can I? Is it? Is uh, this, hinge, this, one, this one may be fixed. Okay. Yeah, it's fixed so people don't rip it off. Oh, is it? It is open. Yeah. Thank you, Shikant. So you're using the North American charging standard? Yes. Any plans of selling this outside of North America at the moment? Eventually, anyway. We do. I do not know the details of that, though. I'm sorry. Very cryptic, Tim. Well, I, should be in politics. I am not the one who knows. Oh, it looks like we're being ushered into the vehicle. Thank you. In and swivel. This is how you should always get into a vehicle. It is. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, so, so we have a yoke steering wheel. That we do. And, and the driver display. Driver's display and the infotainment center here, rear view. Camera. There. Yep. Little visors. Yes. Very nice. And then the door hinges down. What type of door style is that? Is it butterfly? I, I think you'd say gullwing. Gullwing. Perfect. Yeah. A little passenger airbag is in here. Correct. Yeah. Some storage in underneath. Yep. There's uh, a cubby in front of the drink holder. Okay. Yep. Oh, it's a wireless. With, wire with uh, charging. charging for cell phones. Very yes. Cool. You do not remove this. Very nice. Yeah. It's simple, elegant. <laughs> And headroom, just so you can see, I'm six foot two, 188 centimeters. Actually, a good distance, maybe four, five, six centimeters here. Legroom is an interesting one. The seat may go back more. Or the, the seat, the, the seats, uh, the the seats will go back okay. further than this. Yes. So it's a bit, but I think once the seat goes back, it'll be interesting out as well. Um, yeah. As had a battery, you probably be talking range-wise. 400 miles is the expected range. Because it's so light, because it's so aero. Yes. And then, wow. So it's it's um, approximately half the battery size of something like a Model S, for yes. example, and the same range. Because you're taking away that additional weight, another wheel. And the aerodynamic drag is profoundly lower as well. Very nice. What's the overall weight of the vehicle itself? Approximately a ton. Yes. Okay, and, yeah. metric ton. Yeah. One, uh, 2,000 pounds. Okay. Sorry, um, I do yeah. all these conversions. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I'm thinking on the spot, I'm not quick with those conversions. When do we think we'll see production hit and road? Hopefully the end of this year. 2025, you heard it here first. Yes, no, well, <laughs> they may have heard it elsewhere as well. <laughs> on my channel, you've heard it here first. <laughs> Tim, thank you so much for your time. Well, you're really welcome. Looking forward, to, there are, it's a, there's a drivable or passable night. There is, just just down that way, two blocks at a bagel shop. Okay. There the is where we, we've staged the driver. And we're taking uh, okay. investors and other people. I'll see if I can go on a spin for YouTube. If not, I'll have to come back to the States and do another. But it's been phenomenal. Thank you, Tim, for your time. Thank you, Terra, for setting up this interview. And looking forward to seeing something totally different in the electric vehicle space. Thank you, Tim. You're welcome. Thank you.